Hey guys, it's Jalen. Welcome or welcome back. I'm here today to share with you my update for Project 10 Uses. This is a project where I try to work on just rotating through my collection and using products 10 times. I do this randomly. I was inspired to start this project by watching Paula at a Beauty Guru Made Me Do It. The original creator of this project was Phoebe HB and the original inspiration for this project was Melissa Gold. I am probably going to go through this update very quickly because it's like almost five o'clock and my massage therapist comes in like 20 minutes. So I got to be fast. Okay. Since my last update, I actually had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 items going in this project. I have since the last update, which was like May 15th and it's currently like June 29th. So I've had about six weeks to work on this stuff. Hi, Sixter. I have finished six items. So I've met my goal on six items. So let me share with you what those are. The first one is a blush from this Beauty and the Beast Lorac palette. And it is the shade Sea Beyond. It's this one here. It's really beautiful. I loved this. It took me a while to finally hit my uses on it. But yeah, oh, it's so pretty. It's nice on my darker skin. Love it. Finally hit my goal on that so that can roll out. And next I have from Too Faced the Melted Matte Liquefied Matte Longwear Lipstick in the shade Queen Bee. It's this little deluxe size sample. This is really beautiful. I love this shade. I don't love the formula because it's very drying but I love the color, so I deal with the formula. Gorgeous, love it. So it, I think last time I had six uses on it, so I had four more uses to go. Finally hit my goal on that. And there were uh, several lippies I finally hit my goal on. This is the next one, it's by Giorgio Armani. It's the Rouge de Armani Matte in the shade number 501 Milano. So here's the lippy here. And this is a very dark shade for right now, but I powered through and I actually mixed this with another shade I'm going to show you here in a minute to help with the dark shade. This is actually poor thing. It's broken. I love this color though, but yeah, it's too dark for right now. So I'm glad to have finally rolled this one out. I had uh, five uses last update. So I had, I used it five more times. Oh, six. He really missed me, you guys. Next, I met my goal on this Bobbi Brown Extra Lip Tint in the shade Bare Raspberry. So here's the packaging. And then here's the shade. It's a really nice, hydrating, balmy, sheer lip tint. Really nice. Really loved this. I had, uh, let's see eight uses on this. So I only had to use it two more times. And I think I rolled in an extra product for this because I was really close to meeting my goal last month. The next product I met my goal on is by MAC. It's this Powder Kiss Eyeshadow, Soft Matte Eyeshadow in the shade Ripened. This is gorgeous. I got this as a freebie from MAC. I love this. Loved it. Look at that color story very much my jam. This was beautiful. Loved it. Hit my goal on that. And then the last item I hit my goal on is actually a product I rolled in last update. It's by Lorac. It's the Illuminating Highlighter in Starlight. So I took this with me on my trip to Turkey and I used it mostly there. I had used it a couple times before I left and then I used it several times while I was there and then I used it two more times whenever I came back and I'm actually wearing it today. It's stunning. This is a gorgeous highlighter. I don't know if they still make these, but oh, I'm so glad I have this. Stunning. So those were the items I hit my goal on. So that's six. So I still have one, two, three, four, five, six items I'm working on. 12 minus six is six. So let me show you the items I am still working on. The first one is from Pat McGrath. It's the Matte Trans Lipstick in Fembot. 
Now, last month I had five uses. This month I have six. No, seven. I'm sorry, seven. I've used it twice in the last, since the last update. I shouldn't say last month because, well, it was May. It's June now, but it's been like six weeks. I've only used it a couple times. So there's that. Still have three uses to go on this one. Next, I have from Love Lux Beauty this highlighter, which I use as an eyeshadow. It's the shade What Unicorns Are Made Of. And this is really beautiful. I don't use it as a highlighter. As I mentioned, I use it as an eyeshadow. It's stunning. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. But I only have two uses on this. So I still have eight uses to go. A lot of these I rolled in last month. So they don't have very many uses. In fact, I think the next several, next four, I rolled in last month. This one's a little bit challenging to wear. It's by Tarte, the Color Splash Lipstick in five o'clock. So here we go. And this one is a little dark for right now, so I definitely will have to mix this. I've used this one twice as well. It's still a nice color, but no, it's hard to wear right now in like the height of summer. And then from Hourglass, I have a bronzer and it's in this palette. This is from the Ambient Lighting Edit Sculpture Palette. And I brought in the bronzer in Natural Bronze Light. So it's this bronzer here. And it's actually probably a decent shade for me now. Before, I've used it twice and I was mixing it. So there's the shade. And I was actually mixing it with the face powder the two times that I did use it. I realized that I also have another Hourglass face palette in a project and I needed to use that 10 times. So I was kind of prioritizing that, but I did use this one twice. So eight uses to go on that. And next I have from Maybelline, the Color Jolt Intense Lip Paint in Never Bare. And this is actually a really good mixer really good mixer. I've mixed it with several shades, including that Giorgio Armani shade, Milano, and it goes really well with this Tarte five o'clock shade. So there it is. I actually have six uses on this, so four to go on this guy. And then the last item I have is another lippy. Now I have one use. I, I wore it today to get my one use. This is by MAC. It's the Love Me Lipstick in Laissez Faire. Am I saying that right? Maybe, I, maybe I'm not. Hmm. It's gorgeous. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Hmm. So I have six I'm going to roll in. I don't think I'm going, I'm not going to update this project in July. So because of that, I'm going to roll in six more products. Okay. Let me pull my iPad out and we'll go to Wheel of Names, which is where I have all of my items. Now, if it's an item that I'm using in another project right now, I will re-roll. So here we go. I can't remember the last time I updated this list. It's been a while. I mean, like maybe March or April. Okay, so we have the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Pressed Powder in Pretty Blush. I'm fairly confident that that is in a palette. Okay. Here we go. Next one. Is it going? Yeah, it is. Okay. ColourPop Lux Lipstick in Scorpio Moon. All right. That's two. Number three. Oh, this is a Burt's Bees Lipstick in Magenta Rush. That is a great shade for right now. It's, I think it's a bright, bright like magenta pink. Okay, that's three. Number four. Ooh, House Laboratories. La Riot Lip Gloss in Blaze. That's before the rebranding. That was four, right? Five. Okay, this is another Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer in Golden Bronze Light. Okay, 
so many bronzers. It's five. And then number six. Did I hit it? I don't think I did. Okay, this is a clear product, so I'm not going to pull it in. But it's a Grande Hydrating Lip Plumping product in clear. I'm not going to pull that in because it's a clear product. So we'll remove that and we'll, we will repick. I only use, I only roll in like colored products. Okay, Ofra Cosmetics Highlighter in Everglow. Ooh, I don't know if I've ever used that. Okay, let me remove that and then go back to my list and make sure I have, I do have six. All right, so let me pull these and I will be right back. The Hourglass Bronzer is actually in the palette that I have pulled there in another project, so I'm using it already like 10 times. So I am going to go ahead and roll for, pick another product, I should say. Bobbi Brown Illuminating Blush in Belize. Another blush. <laughs> okay, let me go grab that. Okay, so let me share with you the items. They're not in the order that I picked them. But first I have from ColourPop the Luxe Lipstick in Scorpio Moon. So here it is. I think this was the one that when I put it on, it stains my lips. And I'm not 100% sure that I love that. So we'll see what the 10 use, I just showed this to you. We'll see what the 10 use is if I end up loving it enough to keep it. It's a beautiful color. There we go. But we'll see what ends up happening. So 10 uses on that. Then from Burt's Bees, I have this lipstick I can't remember what it's called in magenta rush I don't know if they still have these I don't think they do but I have had these and I have not used them I've had them forever make sure still smells okay really pretty color here we go Ooh, really pretty great for summer yay and then the third lippy I have is by House Laboratories. And it is the La Riot Lip Gloss in the shade Blaze. Ooh, pretty. That is a pretty color. Ooh, I like that color a lot. Nice. Okay, and then we have a highlighter from Ofra. This is actually a collaboration with Nikki Tutorials. It's the shade Everglow. Now, this one has this dark shade that I would never be able to use, but it has this here, of course, that I could use on its own or mixing it with this mid-tone shade. So I'll swatch those two on their own and then mixed. So these, this one and this one is the light and, and medium tone shade and this one is mixed. That's pretty. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. And then we have two blushes. The first one is from Charlotte Tilbury, and it's in this Glowing Pretty Skin Palette. I think I picked this up from Nordstrom. And the let me show you what the palette looks like, the inside of the palette. Actually, let me flip it. So this is what the palette looks like. And the shade is Pretty Blush, and it's this one here. Very, very pink. Very, very pink. Whoo, daddy. Very pink. And then the last blush I have, it, and the last product that I'm pulling in, is from Bobbi Brown, and it's a blush in this little cheek palette. I can't remember where I picked this up. This may have also been from Nordstrom. I can't remember now. But it has a bronzer and two uh, blushes. And the shade is Belize, and it's this middle shade. So it's the illuminating blush. Kind of reminds me a little bit of orgasm, but like lighter. It's almost like a highlighter, but it'd probably be better mixed with this other pink shade. I'm just going to see what that looks like. Yeah, there it is mixed with that other blush in there. So yeah, so those are the six new items that I have rolled in. I'm very, very excited about several of these lip products, especially the, the lip gloss and the by House Laboratories. 
And the Burt's Bees one. And the highlighter. The highlighter is really pretty. So anyway, that is going to be my update for this project. Sorry, that was really fast. But like I said, I have my massage therapist on her way, probably waiting for me to finish this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you are doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Say bye, Zixter. Bye. Oh, see, he did. He said bye. So I, the, so the hourglass bronzer is actually in the bronzer is actually very, very print. Okay, bye.